Afro's Chicken was founded by Emil Fenter in his Italian restaurant. Staff Monica and Sam made an unbelievable chicken burger that he thought would be great for the people of Durban. There was a big demand in the, the, the market scene, so you know, things like iHeart Market. It was the perfect time to bring this new offering out to Durban. The vision um, was obviously to uh, be able to produce it simply, quickly, so that it had uh, ability to grow into lots more shops. Take a f just a chicken fillet and uh, create a burger or strips and that was it. We've always stuck to our original pillars of fresh, affordable, tasty. We've tried to stay true to those from then to now. Being a, a homegrown Durban brand has helped us so much. They've seen us grow from the yellow container and the love and the success we had there is the reason we've been able to be successful as a brand. A lot of our customers say, oh, I've got to go and get my afros fixed today. Yeah. Uh, it's all the time in social media. We haven't just latched onto an idea that or a flavor that's already out there. We created our own flavor and it was unique. And I think that's what people have really loved. We've always chosen to be leaders in our community, whether it's on our eco front, where we remove all the single use plastics from our shops, um, to finding small causes to help out with, like the Dennis Hurley Center. Our customers have an affinity with us because our values align with theirs. We've always been a young team so i think that's helped us as well build a brand that people love it's not a big corporate that you feel totally disconnected from if you have an issue you can call a shop and more than likely you will get scott's number you know or i will answer your personal email we have a very small team which allows us to be agile like that where we can respond and deal with issues I think there's a lot of customers that also just want to let us know yes. as well so they're so in love with the brand the customers contribution to the brand has helped us create a successful brand we look for young staff um, they don't have to be skilled we like to do a lot of our own training the afro school if you want to call it we teach them our methods and we swap uh staff around from one shop to another so that they don't get stale. Skills they've learned in the shop, they pass on to staff for the others. As a company, we promote from within. So we have many people who have gone from being a griller or a salad lady that are now running their own shop. The guy that made the very first Afro's burger, Sam, is still with us. He's our head chef. He goes around and makes sure that every burger, every strips is Perfect. The lady Monica. that made the first sauce, yeah, Monica, Mama Afros. She's still with us. She still oversees all the sauce making, makes sure it's exactly the way it should be. The most important thing about uh, this company is the, the staff and particularly the, the staff at the shop level because uh, they are our business. They really are our, our most important asset. They are the brand. They are they're your first interaction, the first person you see in a shirt, in a cap. They are Afros. As you're growing, you know, running one shop with five uh, staff members as, is reasonably easy. And then you open another one and, and two more, suddenly there's a whole bunch of, of different challenges. And, and it's there that you start making mistakes. We've made a lot of of what we would now decide is, is mistakes. Uh, as an example, we introduced uh, what we thought was a great product called Ristabrit in re uh, to replace our rolls. There, there were more complaints than compliments, so we decided to drop it. But in doing so, we realized, you know, people get used to a certain product and how they, they uh, enjoy it. Don't mess with it. Keep people doing have it. very strong opinions about the brand and our offering. We listen and yes. uh, that's the big thing you know you, you can't just be airing it enough to think that you know all the answers. Uh, people ask and we deliver. For some reason our simplistic uh, strips and chips with a really nice flavor we're seen as a 
is a very good value proposition when it comes to a lunchtime meal. There's a whole bunch of health aspects. Uh, for example, our chips, um, we, we're using real, the, potato. real potatoes, skin on, um, they, they fried and there's only salt added afterwards. And they hand cut in the store every morning. Every day. Yeah. All the sauces also, all fresh, um, good quality ingredients. We source all our in products from local suppliers. We don't use imported chicken. KZN gets KZN veggies and, you know, Joburg gets Joburg veggies and none of it's frozen. It all comes in fresh. Whichever shop you go into, you're going to get that same taste. It's, it's healthy and nice quick char. For one small Durban brand to have grown the way it has staying local, staying true to the original values. I think people have really just latched onto that and felt like that's something that they want to get behind. The customers really defined how we've grown. Selling food is, is very much a personal experience. If you say, well, let's, let's take that away and have people pre-ordering and they're just coming in to collect. You know, yes, people are, are very time um, deprived, but they do need to leave their desks and, and just relax and have a nice lunch casually. So we took a decision that we weren't going to uh, have our own app. We don't want to get involved with our own drivers and our own bikes and, and because that's a different business. We, we're there to grill chicken. However, we do see that deliveries uh, are an important component. People want to sit at home and relax, so leave it to professionals. So we stay just doing what we know best. 2017, we committed to removing all plastic and we, yeah, we're about 90% of the way there. It's our coffee cups is the last one that we need to um, remove. And then once we've reached our 100%, no single use plastics at the, um, you know, throughout our shops, then it's gonna be challenging suppliers. We get a lot of uh, product delivered uh, in single-use plastics and, and uh, I think it's important for us as the buyers in the whole industry to turn around to the suppliers now and say hang on guys enough's enough you guys now need to start looking at alternative packaging methods so that uh, we can get rid of single-use plastic as much as possible. Hard work sums it up for me it's it's we've got a great team and a lot of hard work goes into it. Local is what sums up Afros for me? For me, it's about fun. As the, the senior on the team, I get a big kick from um, interacting with, with uh, this young team. We, we do have fun. Uh, it's not always, it's a lot of hard work. But at the end of the day, you, you wake up the next morning and you're motivated um, by, uh, by interacting with nice, nice young, fun people. And this is staff as well as customers.